Hi, welcome to Juice Bar. Today we're gonna mix a peach melba inspired cocktail. So the peach melba, or probably I should say peach melba, was invented by Auguste Escoffier at the Savoy Hotel in London in honor of Nelly Melba, which was an Australian opera singer at the end of the 19th century. The dessert itself is vanilla ice cream plus peaches and raspberry. This combination of raspberry and peaches, I always loved it. It's really nice. And I wanted to put it into a cocktail. I ran into a few challenges trying to develop this recipe and I'm gonna tell you all about it starting right now. Today I'm gonna mix two portions of this cocktail just because otherwise the quantities are gonna be really tricky. And I'm gonna start out with raspberry jam. Now, of course, if you just take the recipe for a bellini and add raspberry, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. If you do everything with real fresh fruits. But I wanted to develop something that use jam and juice so that you can do it all the time around the year. And as a jam, I'm gonna use this raspberry jam, which is a low sugar jam. And I'm gonna use one decently sized bartender spoon. And then I go on with the peach juice. By the way, this peach juice is 30% peach juice and the rest, I guess, is water and sugar. Depending on the thickness of your peach juice, you might need to change a bit the recipe. And it's gonna be 60 milliliters. Of course, I'm making two cocktails, so for one portion, it should be 30 milliliters. Then we'll give it a slight stir. It's not super important at this point because then we're gonna shake it anyway. And uh, here was the first challenge of this recipe and it's the sweetness. This mix, despite using a low sugar jam, it's already pretty sweet. So we are gonna go dry all the way from now on. We are gonna add 15 milliliters of Carpano Dry. Again, it will be 7.5 for one portion. And this is gonna give dryness. <laughs> it's in the name. And then we go with uh, Cherry Brandy, Kirschwasser. I'm using this uh, Massenet, which is even drier than my other option I have. Again, to bring more dryness to the cocktail and in this case also to enhance the berry component flavor-wise of the raspberry. So 50 milliliters of this one too, 7.5 if you do only one portion. And then we go with Mirto. Mirto is this berry liqueur from Sardinia and uh, I'm using the Silvio Carta Mirto, which is a bit atypical, it's more fruity than other ones I tried, and it's less botanical, yes, less of uh, laurel forest flavors. And we are gonna use uh, 30 milliliters of this for two, again it will be 15 for one portion. Let me get some ice for our shake. Oh! <laughs> and let's give this bad boy a shake. And I want to serve this cocktail uh, two ways. One way is gonna be in a chilled coupe and the other one is gonna be on ice in a spritz-like glass. Let's double strain. And let's top off with some Prosecco. I'm gonna use this Costco Prosecco, which turns out to be perfect for this kind of cocktail, for this uh, aperitivo-like, spritz-like cocktail. It's just so cheap, but it's pretty decent. It just has everything we want for a Prosecco to work well in this context, and it doesn't have 
the price it's still really cheap and it's a dock prosecco from the region of prosecco in veneto there you go let's top off both our glasses I guess in the spritz version you're brought to put a bit more wine than in this coupe version. I have to say I'm partial to the version in the coupe because the version over ice tends to get a bit too diluted when you arrive at the last sip if it takes you 10 minutes or so to drink. Anyway they're both really good and there you go, I would like to call this cocktail Melba all'Elba. Elba being the Italian island in the Adriatic Sea, kind of close to Corsica, kind of close to Sardinia where they make Mirto and I just like the name, it sounds pretty awesome. And uh, let's give this a try. Cheers. Mm. First sip, and I'm halfway through. This is good. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. Again, I used the uh, kind of good amount of ingredients, but I think the result is really good. And I really needed all these ingredients to achieve this result again because otherwise, the combination of uh, raspberry jam and uh, peach juice would be just too sweet. Also because uh, as I already said as much as I love real peaches I profoundly dislike fake peach flavor or like enhanced peach flavor like in the peach tree. Uh, don't like that. This way thumbs up. This is really good. Not heavy, it's light and I think it balances well sweet and sour and bitter. Yeah, it's good I made it too because this one is almost gone. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, share with everybody you like and don't like. Shake yourself some nice aperitivo drink and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. Elba Island is also the place where they exiled Napoleon for the first time. And you have to wonder what kind of... Uh, what were they thinking, the rest of Europe, when they said, ah, okay, let's just send him uh, right next door, uh, 30 kilometers from Corsica, from uh, the island where uh, Napoleon was born, 10 kilometers from Italy, with 400 men at his disposal, yeah, I mean, it took him, what, three months to come back and made another uh, chaos in Europe. Sometimes men uh, was important, really powerful people. What do they smoke? Opium? Did they smoke opium at the time? <laughs>